Hey, it's Radical Dan. Uh, I got another experiment I'm doing. Uh, if you remember that little Peltier module, that's it back here. But now it's not hooked up to power. Now what I'm doing, as you see in this side right here, I got one of my Fresnel lenses. And of course I don't have it focused all the way, but I do have it focused to where it's warm in here. It's not at the focal point to where it'll melt it, but it's actually warm in here and it's cool back here. Now the fan's not turned on. This is just hooked up directly. And if you can see it right here, that's point, point four three 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 five. That's almost a half a volt. So right now, the sun is just heating this side of the module, and this side is staying cool, and it's producing almost a half a volt. It's been climbing for a while. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the the limit is. I'm pretty sure, I mean, you can get it pretty hot. I don't have a temperature gauge to find out what it is, but if I can get this, you know, a lot more, a lot hotter and this stays cool, which is pretty cool right now. Yeah, it's getting up to four and a half almost. Well, 450. So that'd be a half. But anyway, that's, that's pretty cool. That's the opposite effect. Like I showed before, that if I put voltage to it, that one side will get hot, one side will get cold. But now if you take that module by itself, and if you actually heat one side of it, and you keep the other side relatively cool, comparatively, it'll actually produce a voltage. <clears throat> Some people put these on like their wood stoves, and they produce, you know, enough uh, electricity to run a little fan and all that kind of stuff. But if you had a bunch of these, I just threw this together because I, you know, I had a little tin, and I was like, well, okay, let me get something that'll hold some heat, but... Yeah, see, there's 450. If you can build this up, you know, maybe with like 10 of those or something, you know, with a better, you know, better insulation qualities, I mean, you could probably generate, you know, pretty easily 12 volts to, gen to you know, charge up some batteries and stuff. Okay, something else. I took some pictures and posted on my Facebook. But you can't post pictures on YouTube, so. <laughs> a couple chairs I made. I made some, uh, charcoal yesterday and while I was waiting while I was watching the you know watching to make sure it didn't start doing forest fires and shit um, I made this little pallet chair rocker it rocks and these these legs back here stop it but when you're sitting in it you won't go back far enough it won't let you go back far enough to do that well I mean you probably could but you sit down a rock in it. <clears throat> well, you can't see it, but I made this one a lot wider. You stick your legs out, it automatically pulls you up. So it's got a good balance to it. But yeah, I was goofing around, so I was like, hey, you know, let me make something out of some old scrap pallet wood. There's the old chair I made uh, a few weeks ago. Just goofing around just to see, you know, how easy it was. And that's like half a pallet. It wasn't a big deal. Oh, I'll pick that up today, too. I don't know what I'll use it for, but that was in the trash can at the place that I uh, collect my wood pallets at. Which I got some more. Picked up some more uh, eight-footers. I was actually busting the little boards off my pallets, and my little pallet tool bent. So I guess I'm going to have to build another one and reinforce it. So It's a good idea because it works. It makes it a lot easier. Here's the rest of the charcoal that I made yesterday. Pretty good stuff. I'm getting up of this and I'm going to start melting some more metal and running some more gasifiers so everybody can see that stuff again. But yeah, just a little quick update. It's supposed to rain again, so we'll see what happens. Alright, it's Radical Dan. Have a good one.